Hey, 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 Libras. This is going to be an energy reading for you, okay? So if you are a Libra, this energy reading is for you, okay, Libra? Let's see. I'm going to stop with this one more again, and then I'm going to tap in. Cats can be significant. I'm hearing a cat meow, but I think it's a cat outside. Someone can have maybe like a, um, not a domestic cat, but like an outside cat. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing it outside. My kittens are in the house. Okay, so it ain't my kitten. Somebody got an outside cat. Okay, let's see for Libra. What does, do y'all hear that cat? It's not like it's outside my window. Hold on. Y'all, it's a big ass black cat. A huge, I want to show y'all. It's a huge black cat outside my door. I don't know who he looking for, but that is not my cat. Hold on, let me, can I turn this around? I'm gonna hold on, y'all. Look. What are you doing on my porch? I don't even know you. You just chilling? <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm not tweaking. It sounds like there's a cat outside my door. It's literally y'all a cat outside my door. One, one, one is significant. Black cats represent um the intuition so i don't know if y'all intuition is growing stronger okay animals can feel compelled to come to you because i've never seen that cat y'all and it's just meowing outside my door laying and meowing i don't know i have never fed it i know my kids ain't never fed it i don't know why that cat it might be at the wrong door <laughs> it might be at the wrong door libra but let's see something about that is significant okay i'm gonna tap in ask my higher self the most high and the ascended masters to help me in this intuitive reading Alrighty, libra on the bottom of the deck you guys have going out on a date fire energy there's someone who wants to take you out on a date okay so you could be going out on a date soon or you could be dating okay we have victim mentality i'll blame you oh be mindful Okay, because this could be someone who's in a victim mentality. If they're trying to blame someone else for the downfall of a relationship or um, that's kind of what it's given. Like someone might come to you and be like, oh, things didn't work out between me and so and so because they did this to me and they did that to me and they did this to me. Not saying that they did it, but for some, they may not have done it. It could be somebody who's just playing victim. Okay, we have an awakening. Scorpio energy could be significant. Okay, someone's awakening to someone who plays victim. Okay, this could be someone that you guys are dating or want to date or that you could have been dating. Okay, let's see for Libra. Fire energy is definitely significant. Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Sagittarius. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sag. This in a victim mentality, Libra. Okay, you could be awakening to this. This could be someone you're dating. We have, you're in a poverty mindset, growing broke. Okay, water energy. This could be someone who's in a poverty mindset. Okay, they could be out of a job. Okay. For some, out of a home. Okay, this is someone who's going broke because they're in a poverty mindset. They rather play victim. Okay, let's see for Libra. You guys have, I'm making a head over heart decision. Someone's making a head over heart decision. Air energy, okay, Capricorn energy can be significant. Okay, Libra, let's see. We have slim, slim built, athletic, slender, slim thick. Someone could be slim built, athletic built, okay, slim thick. All right, slim thick, okay. <laughs> we got masculine energy here. Okay, so y'all could be dealing with a fire sign masculine or this masculine could have fire in their chart. Okay, they could be a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp, which is the end of December so they can have a birthday in the end of December or the beginning of January all right let's see we have I don't understand my emotions I'm still figuring out how I feel someone's still figuring out how it is that they feel okay they don't understand emotions okay? <laughs> this might be someone who needs to regulate their emotions really sit with themselves when it comes to their emotions excuse me I'm trying to make sure my boobs don't fall out they looking nice today though you know um hold on <laughs> um anyway 
But this is someone who may need to better regulate their emotions, better understand their emotions. They may just sit with themselves so they can learn what their emotions is. But this is someone who's saying they're making a head over heart decision. Okay, this could be someone who makes more of their decisions, you know, logically instead of emotionally. I mean, that's a good thing, but sometimes it could be a bad thing. So take it how it resonates. Okay, we got soulmate. This could be a soulmate of yours. Okay, we have resistance to change set in my ways. This could be someone who's resistant to change and set in their way. Okay, heavy on the Scorpio energy. Because I'm seeing the death card and the judgment card, which is both Scorpio energy. Okay, I want you back, ex-lover. This could be an ex-lover of yours who wants you back. Okay, at the top of the deck, we got, <laughs> we got Scorpio energy. I cannot make that up. Scorpio energy, okay? Following your higher self. You could be following your higher self, especially when it comes to someone who was here for a good time, not for a long time. So I feel like y'all have somebody in your energy that you know was here for a good time, not a long time. It's someone who played victim in a poverty mindset, okay? They just want to have fun, they, and they resist to change. They, they, they like things the way it is, or they like who they are as they is, and they feel like they have no reason to change, okay? And, I mean, that's okay, too. You can't put a cap on nobody's growth. Five, five, five brings change okay but somebody's definitely changing okay then we have this is a love like no other and then libra okay so libra y'all have somebody in your energy who feels like the love that you give is like no other but this is someone who's there for a good time not a long time okay so follow your higher self trust your intuition when it comes to this scorpio energy is significant we got scorpio we got capricorn we got sagittarius all right so let's see and libra and libra okay at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands which is about someone being there for a good time not a long time okay someone's awakening it to this okay scorpio energy to a player energy someone who's in and out of their life okay receiving enlightenment but it's also helping them to self-assess trust your intuition Okay, with the high priestess here, Pisces, Cancer, we have Scorpio energy here too. And especially when it comes to you taking a leap of faith to start a new beginning. Okay, so let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? We have the King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, my date outside, y'all, so I gotta hurry up. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, there's a masculine who has uh, feelings for you. Okay, but with the Six of Wands in reverse, I feel like this was someone who was unsuccessful with making progress. Leo energy. We have the Death card in reverse because this is someone who's resistant to change. I told y'all I seen that Judgment card and that Death card when I tell you my intuition has been on point. Chef's <laughs> kiss. Okay, anyway. Um, but this is someone who's resistant to change. They haven't been able to make progress in a loving situation because they're resistant to change. They need to make progress with their change. Okay, we have the Four of Wands here. This could be someone who's married. For some, this is someone who doesn't want to end a marriage. Okay, for some, this could be a Twin Flame. Okay, someone you live with. We have the Tower card here, but something was built on a faulty foundation. I'm seeing someone receive enlightenment that's going to bring unexpected change, especially when it comes to you working and collabing with somebody and it being unsuccessful. It's not working out, even though this person may love you. Okay, I feel like this person loves you, but they don't, they, we had, I don't understand my emotions still figured out. This is someone who don't, they, they don't understand emotions. They're full of love for you, but they may not understand that. Okay, something about them being resistant to that. This could be someone who um, fears intimacy. Okay, we have the nine of cups here, but I see that they look at you as wish fulfillment. Okay, I'm also seeing you guys getting a wish granted when it comes to your work. Okay, if you are unsuccessful with something at work, I'm seeing it working out, okay? So, let's see. We have the Justice card in reverse. Libra energy. Someone, whoever this is that's resistant to change, they could have been making false accusations about you or about someone that they were married to. And I told y'all, like, y'all could have been dating somebody who plays victim. It's giving, like, somebody could be married to someone or live with somebody or connected to somebody who they're, they, they are resistant to change their ways in order to be able to achieve their fulfillment. But it's like, they're trying to say it like, it's this person's fault to why they're not fulfilled, which isn't, that isn't the truth. I feel like, and we got 911 here, it could be um, a court situation going on. Someone could be getting taken to court for a marriage. Okay, but I'm seeing whoever this is that's resistant to change, making false accusations, possibly about someone they're married to or live with or in union with. 
Okay, we have a Ten of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who's been feeling way down with a lot of responsibilities, obligations. Okay, they also have hidden intentions with the High Priestess in reverse, Pisces, Cancer energy. When it comes to them receiving some type of wish fulfillment, this is why this person isn't making progress with the love situation which, between you and them because this person has hidden intentions to why they want to work and collab with you. Temperance card in reverse, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who is impatient. They need to practice something in moderation. This could be a drinker. This could be someone who drinks a lot. They need to practice that in moderation. Okay. You guys have the lover's card. It came out in the challenging position. For some, it's an ex-lover of yours. Okay. For others, this is a current lover of yours who's been having you feel way down about a union, about a marriage where they're being unfair. Gemini energy can be significant. We have the nine of swords in reverse. Heavy on the Gemini energy. Someone has been very paranoid about the hidden intentions that they have and them growing impatient and making false accusations. This is someone who's resisted the change, who's playing victim. Okay, when it comes to a new beginning in love, this is someone who I feel like you could have triggered. Hold on, y'all. Aquarius energy could be significant. I got a text it back. Okay, Aquarius energy could be significant, but I feel like someone, you could be wanting a new beginning in love. You could be opening your heart to maybe a new lover or other options, healthier choices in love. But this is someone who feels like you're the healthier choice in love. They can be paranoid about playing victim, making false accusations. Because once you lie, you got to keep on lying to cover up that lie, to cover up that lie, to cover up that lie. And I feel like somebody's realizing that. You could be catching up to the fact that this person has hidden intentions. Okay, they could be talking about another to throw you off of the fact that they that that's them. You know what I mean? Like, let's say this person is telling you that they can't make progress in a relationship with somebody or a marriage because, um, you know, this other person doesn't want to make change. They don't want to compromise. They being they making false accusations about them. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. I feel like this person has been making false accusations. This person is resistant to change. This person hasn't made progress in that relationship because possibly they have feelings for you. But they need to better understand their emotions, especially if this person is going through like a heart shock awakening that you could have triggered. Okay, they have all these newfound emotions that they've been thinking about with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In this case, I feel like this person needs to make a, a heart over head decision, go with what their heart feels. And that's why they're feeling paranoid about these feelings and them having hidden intentions when it comes to having possibly you, you opening up to them. And they've been thinking about this, about these newfound emotions. But again, this could be someone who's more in their head, but they're learning a lesson. The divine is teaching this person a lesson as they go through this heart shock awakening when it comes to the choices that they've made in love. And that's what they could be feeling way down about because it could be someone who's realizing maybe they made false accusations towards a twin or towards someone that they're married to because they were resistant to the change. Okay, yeah, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who was projecting a lot of ill will emotions onto someone. This is someone who's falling from grace. Okay. But whoever this is with the Three of Cups, they want to reconcile with you, Cancer Energy. There could be delay in communication because this person still needs to figure out how it is they feel. Or it could be a delay in communication because this person been projecting onto you. They're resistant to change. They've been making false accusations about you or about somebody else. And for some, they could have been making false accusations about you to somebody that they're married to or making false accusations to somebody they live with or married to about you, vice versa. Take it, flip it, switch. Or you, they could have been coming to you about somebody that they were married to making false accusations. Take it out, resonate. But whoever this is, they want a new passion and beginning with the Ace of Wands here. Okay, you could be single, growing wiser, becoming disillusioned when it comes to this situation. Scorpio energy, receiving the signs and synchronicities about you needing to leave this person out in the cold. They also could be dealing with uh, financial hardships and poverty. Okay, it could be out of a home, out of a job. This could be helping you to receive some type of enlightenment get a change of perspective about some sacrifices that you need to make which is to leave this person out in the code okay king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this could be a baby's father father figure older masculine somebody has gray like gray in their hair if it's not all gray then it's like you know salt and pepper grays okay whoever this is leo energy they've been exposed this could be someone who's very materialistic as well okay they could have built a faulty foundation off of materialistic gain okay whoever this is they were being dishonest about it too being sneaky, deceptive, trying to be a player. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be a player no more. They're they're tired of being dishonest to you, especially if they, if, especially if some of their lies have been exposed to you. Okay, you could be awakening to this, or they're awakening. Okay, self-assessing when it comes to this new beginning. 
Okay, this person could have tried to cause conflict for you, for someone else, or someone else in their energy could have sent you as competition. A Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, for some, this is somebody this person is married to. They they gave them some type of, they're trying to plant seeds into stability, and you could have them blocked, or this person could be trying to offer you some type of um, new contract, but because they put you in some type of conflict or competition, um, you could be blocking this person because of that, okay? You could be choosing to heal, to level up, to work on yourself, okay? Especially when it comes to somebody who was gossiping, spreading rumors. For some, they were pillow talking about you, okay? To a queen of wands, Aries Leo Sag. If it wasn't an Aries Leo Sag, it was someone who they was having good, good with, somebody they were attracted to, okay? And you're moving on. Aquarius energy towards your happiness, towards a feeling of belonging, towards soul tribe. For some, okay, turning things around in your favor. It was also destined for you to meet this person, okay to help you either heal from rejection wounds or learn how to better reject people okay take it how it resonates because whoever this is they try to slow y'all up and that's the truth truth to clarity okay they try to slow you up by putting you in some type of third party situation by making false accusations about them making false accusations about you trying to keep up with their lies but somebody's definitely gonna catch up to whoever this is and even though they look at you as wish fulfillment uh the reason why they can't make progress with you is because they need to make change when it comes to the lies the false accusations that they've been making about you or this person possibly both can't be talking shit about the people that you you claim you love and then want and love back from these individuals because i feel like i didn't see the queen of cups i don't feel like y'all giving them back that love you know what i'm saying not right now i'm not saying you don't love them i just feel like maybe y'all are creating distance between you and this person you know realizing that you may need to sacrifice this relationship and just leave it at where it's at because this person ain't doing nothing but playing victim then they're restless and paranoid about the lies that they've been telling the false accusations that they've been making towards you or somebody else to try to keep up with something okay it could be you maybe you're making a hit of a hard decision okay it could be um either a masculine i feel like a masculine may need to do a heart over head decision and a feminine need to do a head over heart decision okay especially if you gave this person your heart it's like they just i don't know i don't want to say they want to play games because it's not given that they don't love you it's given like this person don't want to make change and they rather i don't know tell a false accusations to kind of make y'all go with the flow of what they got going instead of um actually making that change in order to be able to have or achieve that fulfillment like this person is unfulfilled within themselves because they're trying to fill a void with lies and that's not going to get them far especially not with you libra because i feel like you will discern it Y'all are very discerning and you're fair and you're honest. And I feel like once you realize that this person ain't being fair and they not honest, y'all just gonna cut that off. But that is the energy reading. But my leaves.